Imagine our delight when the company Suisse reached out to us and asked us to review some of their products. Suisse is a small company that sells beautiful, modern, durable kitchenware. We were given a long list of items to choose from. Decisions, decisions, decisions. And finally, we settled on some blue porcelain 11 ounce coffee mugs. Click the link in our description to go straight there. Please note that the Brick Girls will get a small commission. Okay, Lucy, open the box. slowly evolved in China and was finally achieved over a thousand years ago. It then slowly spread to other East Asian countries and finally to Europe and the rest of the world. The word porcelain in English comes from the old Italian porcelana, which means a cowrie shell because of its resemblance to the surface of the shell. During the 17th century, Imports of delicate china became much more common due to Europe's new craze of tea drinking. As the passion for collecting china intensified, great efforts were made to discover the secrets of its manufacture. The first possible substitutes to be made in England appeared in the 1740s, and these were called china wares to distinguish them from ordinary earthenware. Today, for many people, China is a catch-all term for ceramic tea things, but in industrial terms, it means bone china, a form of porcelain that includes bone ash in its composition. This stunning 85-piece porcelain dinner service was crafted between 1780 to 1790 by Darby and Dewsbury for the 8th Duke of Hamilton. We have an extended warranty. And a free product. Well, we'll, we'll see if we can work that out later. <laughs> I'm liking it so far. Yeah, anything that starts off with a free uh, offer is a good start. I'm just gonna, let's do it like this. <laughs> there we are. Very neatly packed, very nice presentation. Are you ready? Yes. Looks like we've got a light kind of sky blue one. Beautiful. Oh, I love how glossy it is. Lovely glossy finish. They've got a really nice weight. You can feel that they're good quality. They are really lovely. We've got a darker blue one here. This is one of my all time favorite colors. Beautiful midnight blue. Oh, midnight yeah. blue, that's right. I love the colour. I have this idea that when Ryan and I eventually buy a home, we're going to have a blue and white kitchen. Perfect. Well, you've got your mugs. Now just save up for the rest of the kitchen and house. There we go, <laughs> yes. What's the handle like, Lucy? Very often handles are either too big or too small. This is just right. You can get a good grip. If it's winter, you can do it like this. <laughs> I believe they are dishwasher safe. Yes, and microwave safe, and freezer yes. safe should you need it, and oven safe apparently too. There you go. I don't know what you would do with them in the freezer or oven. Maybe you could make a souffle. Ooh, perhaps you could try that next time, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> This one is, it looks like maybe more of a greenish tinge. Greenish tint, not tinge, greenish tinge. tinge. They're so elegant, you know, for a coffee mug, which, you know, doesn't scream elegant in the same way a teacup might. That's three out of six. This one looks like maybe a sky blue. What do you think of that one? It's a lovely yeah. color too, isn't it? That's beautiful. It's like a dark aqua, isn't it? That's a beautiful colour. I love that. That's quite unique, that is. I like that they're all different colours. 
So if you have your six friends around, you can all have a different colour mug and you're not going to get confused with which one is your mug, you know. These two are quite similar, but there is one slightly darker than the other. I, I can't believe these are only $25.99. I genuinely I mean that. I think I, it's great value for money. Um, really yes. is, you know, because sometimes you can pay almost that for one mug. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I'm actually very impressed with these. This is the all white one. I believe you can actually paint them with your own designs. I wouldn't want to risk it. I wouldn't. Well, we're not very artistic, are we, Lucy? So <laughs> it would. <laughs> if you're artistically minded, then that might be really fun. Um, yeah. But I, I would worry that I would ruin it. Yeah, um, don't get the permanent markers out, Lucy, okay? Leave them, leave them in the drawer. Yeah. <laughs> When I drink tea, I like it in quite a fine cup, like a bone china cup or, you know, something which isn't too thick. Would you say that would be good for tea too? I would definitely have my tea from this. I wouldn't say it's too thick at all, no. It's not as delicate as maybe you might expect from a bone china tea cup, but then it's not really meant to be that. It's its own thing. It's a coffee mug. I don't see why you couldn't have tea, coffee, hot chocolate, wine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not wine, that might stay there, I don't know. But you could have soup in there too. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And let us know, have you tried any Swiss products yet? Please comment below. Let us know what you think of the mugs. And if you've got anything you want us to review, within reason, we will review it. So get in touch at Brick Girls Go Stateside. Please like, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.